Welcome back. So car is in the garage and uh, now I'm going to show you inside the car interior and uh, yeah so probably I'm gonna start from uh, okay the battery is dead uh, all right all right battery is dead so probably we should jump in and see what's inside yeah we have side uh, airbags blown um, wheel airbag blown but I have new one so already I'm gonna change it later and uh, yeah oh and this is disgusting we have a burger from United States and uh, Double cheesy burger. What a fuck. wow! Mm, mm, mm. What is this? Nice, Jesus. Uh, and we have a Volkswagen sign, so that's a huge win. Uh, it will save me a lot of money. It seems to be all right. Maybe I will need a little bit to polish it, but seems fine <laughs> oh jeez what is that <sighs> clicker isn't isn't that thing used to for dog training clicker i know some trainers using these kind of things for dog training yeah what do we have here nothing <sighs> Oh, that's disgusting. Seems like someone been eating burger. Oh my god. There is also... Jesus. Yep. Definitely girl been driving this car. What is this? I don't know. Wow. That's disgusting. Yeah, so... Uh, this Tiguan model have uh, Jesus the burger probably kicked to the straight to the dashboard Fuck. Yeah, so it's a di digital dashboard uh, multimedia screen Quite nice nice uh, package would say um, Nothing special here Nothing special. Okay, side uh, blinker from the bumper, and on the back, pretty clean, I would say. Yep, and I will start removing this roof uh, to take out those airbags. Yeah, so first of all, I will be, probably I need to clean the car, but I don't have much time to do that. If those burgers haven't uh, rotten for uh, at least three months, I don't think they're going to rot for uh, about upcoming few days. I will start removing um, these head ha handles. I don't know how is it called. Oh my god, I will clean a little bit. I cannot watch. Yeah, so roof is down. I'm on a halfway to remove those uh, airbags. Now those pins left. 
this one is covered. Uh, here, here, I have already removed a few of them. And also, I've been fishing for this one. So, I don't know how to show you this. So I removed the right one on the right side. And here it is. I just need to hook this one, this little guy with my magic tool. A little bit rusty, but it's doing his job. That's what she said. All right. I want to show you how to remove those airbag clips. Those are uh, quite hard to remove, by the way. And uh, I don't have special tools, but I have some needle, something like this one. And uh, oh my God, I have, I need second hand, one second. As you can see, um, you have to get inside, but that's the hardest part. As you can see, my needle is in the middle, but I need to catch it from the side and I need to enter this one. So you have to go from the side. And then when you you have to push on the side, wiggle this one holder and a little bit wiggle on that one, a little, little bit wiggle on that one and these pins will come out. Good luck. All right, so finally removed the roof and I can access uh, airbag holders or how they are called so I can access them and remove oh that was tough but actually it's pretty good build it's there are a lot of uh, noise cancelling materials added I would say this is quite a good car and I hope I will not keep it So I'm going on right now to the, another city for a weekend, maybe for a longer period of time. I've been, I will be searching for uh, parts for a Tiguan and uh, I took out uh, sea belts, also took out uh, airbags. I'm thinking of a uh, sea belt rebuild. There is a one company which is doing that I gotta reach and reach them out and ask would they be able to help me out with those seatbelts also I wrote all codes part codes so I will be searching for uh, broken parts and so I will be buying from probably some parts from aftermarket and some parts will be brand new uh, sometimes uh, brand new parts are even cheaper than uh, aftermarket parts. Aftermarket parts, sorry. Yep, so we'll be just calling everyone and uh, asking for some prices. Yeah, I'm expecting probably to get back to my uh, garage on the uh, next end of the week, maybe. Or maybe even after two weeks because um, I don't know how fast I will, be, I will be able to gather all the required parts. I will not return until I will uh, receive major parts, major amount of parts, because uh, there will be nothing to do me there. This is quite a long journey. I, uh, it's around 300 kilometers from where I live and where my garage is. Uh, my garage is at my mother's house and I live in a capital, so Quite a long journey, so right now 300 kilometers ahead of me, so quite a long journey.
long journey and uh, oh my gosh my arm is <laughs> vlogging requires some uh, strength i would say <laughs> 